Once you've introduced a new device to the computer, the autoplay window will appear. The computer has recognized that you've introduced a new device and is giving you a couple different options so that you can work with those files. You could choose one of these programs and that would take you there directly. I don't actually want to work with the autoplay window today because once you've selected one of these options, this window is going to disappear. What we're going to do is we're first going to close this window and we're going to open the Windows Live Photo Gallery so that we can import our photos because that option is always going to work. In order to close this window, I'd like for you to click on the red X in the top right hand corner of this window. One simple click on the red X will close the autoplay window. The first thing we need to do is we need to open the Windows Live Photo Gallery. If you open Windows Live Photo Gallery with me during the introduction to this tutorial, you will recall that we have pinned it to the Start menu. In order to access the Start menu, we first need to click on the Start button. The Start button can be found in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I'm going to click one time on the Start button, and then I'm going to go and click on Windows Live Photo Gallery, and that's going to open the program. If you have previously uploaded photos to your computer, you will see those upon opening Windows Live Photo Gallery. In order to import the new photos from our camera card to the computer, we will first need to click on Import. Import can be found underneath the Home tab in the top left-hand corner of the screen. I'm going to click on Import one time, and then that's going to open this window here that says Import Photos and Videos. This window here is showing us the devices from which we can choose to import our photos. We only have one device plugged into this computer, but you may have others present in this window. In order to make sure the device is selected, you'll want to make sure that it's highlighted in blue like this. If it's not highlighted in blue, you can simply click on it one time and that's going to select it. If you do not see your device here in this window, you may want to try clicking the refresh button. Refresh is going to look for any devices that have been recently plugged in. If you still don't see your device present, you may want to try reinserting the card to make sure it was done properly. I'm going to go ahead and click here on this device one time in order to select it, and now I'm ready to import the photos. The photos aren't quite ready to be imported, we still have a few more steps, but the next step is going to be to click on import down here in the bottom right hand corner of this window. Once I click on import, I'll be presented with this window here. This window here will tell us how many new photos and videos were found, in this case 26. It will also give us two options, review, organize, and group items to import, as well as import all new items now. Usually I go with the first option because I like to organize my photos from the beginning. Import all new items now is kind of like the express option. I like to organize my photos from the start because if I have perhaps three to 400 photos, I like to break those down into smaller groups. But if you're in a rush, feel free to use the import all new items now. In order to make sure the option is selected that I want, I need to make sure that the radio button is highlighted in blue. So as long as this little radio button here is highlighted in blue, I'm ready to import these photos. The next step is going to be to click on the next button. That's in the bottom right hand corner of this window. I'm going to click on next and then I'll be presented with this window here. You can see that this window here has divided our photos into groups. In this case we have 26 items selected in four groups. It divides the photos into groups by date and time they were taken. In order to adjust the size of the group we have this button down here that says adjust groups. I can use this slider bar here to adjust the group size. In order to move the slider bar, I'm simply going to hover my mouse on top of the bar so that the tip of the arrow is inside that square there, and then I'm going to hold down the left click and I can drag the bar from left to right. I usually like to divide my groups by one day, so I'm going to go to one day, but you can see you can divide it by hours and things like that. So I'll put it at one day between groups. You'll see in the top left hand corner we have a small check mark box that says select all and it's currently checked. In this case I don't want to select all of the photos right now because I plan on selecting just the photos I want to import from the camera to the computer. So in order to deselect these photos I'm going to click on this small check mark box so that it's deselected and now I'll know that it's deselected because it says zero item selected in zero groups. Once I have zero items selected in zero groups, I can individually go through the different groups and choose just the photos I want to import from the camera to the card. You'll see that the computer has already divided our photos into groups. 
In each horizontal group, you'll see that we have a few components. On the left hand side, we have a small check mark box. Then we have a couple preview photos of the photos that are within this group. We have a small folder icon and then it says enter a name. It also shows us the date and time these photos were taken. And then on the right hand side it says view all six items or however many items are within the group and that's in blue letters. If I click on view all six items it will expand this group so that I can see all of the photos that are within this group. Currently none of the photos within this group are selected. If I check the small check mark box here on the left hand side it's going to select all of these photos and you'll now notice that each photo has a small check mark box that's checked in the top left hand corner of the photo. If I'd like to import all of the photos in this group, I can simply leave the check mark boxes selected. If there's a photo that's a dud or I simply just don't want to import it, I can click on the check mark box in order to deselect that photo. So I'll click on this check mark box here and that's going to deselect this photo. You'll now notice that this check mark box in the group heading is blue. When it's highlighted in blue like this, that means that some of the photos are selected, but not all of the photos. At this time, we're not deleting any of the photos. We're simply choosing which photos we'd like to import from the camera into the computer. Once I've selected the photos from this group that I plan on importing from the camera to the computer, I can now give this group a name. You'll see in the group heading that we have a small folder icon and then it says enter a name. If I click on enter a name, I can then enter a name for this particular group. Since I've finished working with this group, I can now take a look at the other groups. Currently I can't see any of them. I could use the scroll bar here on the right hand side and I could scroll down to see the other groups, but instead I'm going to collapse this group. Collapsing the group simply means I'm going to close it. In the bottom left hand corner you'll see that we have a button that says collapse all. If I click on collapse all it's going to close this group and close all other groups. It now says expand all and expand all would expand all of the groups so that you can see all of the photos within each group. Now I'm going to work with the second group of photos. First I'm going to click on view all seven items so that I can see all of the items within this group. And this time I'm only going to choose a few pictures that I'd like to import. So I'm simply going to choose a couple pictures, maybe three pictures, and I'm going to click on each one in order to select it. You'll notice that this box is blue because some of the photos have been selected, but not all of them. Once I've selected the photos that I want to import from this particular group, I'm going to give this group a folder name as well. Once again, I'll click on enter a name, and then I'm going to type in the name for this group. Since I've finished working with this group, I'm also going to collapse it or close the group. I'll click on Collapse All and that's going to close the group. Today I'm just going to import these two particular groups. If you'd like to go through the rest of your list and give each group a folder name or select certain photos from a group, you can go ahead and do so. When you're ready, simply click on Import in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You'll notice as the photos are being imported that this green bar will appear. Depending on how many photos you've selected, this window will appear for a few seconds or even a minute or two. You'll also notice that there is an option that says Erase after importing. If you were to choose this option, the photos would be erased directly from the card. This is one way to delete your photos. You can also delete the photos directly from the camera, or you could insert the card into the computer and then access it from a different menu and delete your photos that way. Even though I've just imported new photos into the gallery, I won't see them until I click on their particular folder. On the left hand side, you'll see in the navigation pane that we have several different folders. If you don't see these folders, it's probably because they're collapsed or closed. If they're closed like this, you'll want to expand them so that you can see all of the folders within this group. In order to expand the group, you'll simply want to click on this triangle here, and that's going to expand the group. Right now it's showing me all of the photos within the gallery because I have all of the folders selected. If I just want to see the photos from a particular folder, I'll need to click on that folder. I've just recently imported two folders, one called Livorno and the other called Santorini. If I click on Santorini, I'll only see the photos from that particular group.
If I then click on the folder that says Livorno, I will see the photos that have been copied into that folder. We have now successfully copied the photos from the camera card to the computer, which is definitely one of our hardest tasks.